start out the interview, we just wanted to actually do something a bit different. We've, uh, we've got some pictures from a photo shoot back in 2001, so I just wanted to show you these, see, see what you make of them and, and what sort of memories they bring back of, of that time of your life. <laughs> it's best living here, I suppose, eh? How blue are my eyes, by the way? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Try, try, I'm trying to look at... I don't know if I can see my oldest boy Pierce in me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when they, yeah. God almighty, man. What sort of memories do they bring back of that, that sort of can't time I, of your career? Can't actually remember actually doing these. No. No, cannot actually remember doing these at all. I don't know if actually they were more more close. Uh, Oh my God! I actually think I see more of my daughter in me. Yeah. See, yeah. I see, I see. I see more of my daughter in me than than, than my boys. Definitely. <laughs> uh, I've got the old pinstripe suit on. De that definitely wasn't my suit. Definitely yeah. Wasn't, or or the tie. Never wore a purple tie in my life. But uh, no, good. I suppose good photos, I yeah. Good photos, I But. I suppose bring back memories, don't they? Eh? I don't know roughly when that would have been, maybe around about it was maybe 22, 23. I was I was one of the top players in the game and I, I was winning some of the big tournaments. Uh, and in, in my own head, I, I think I've maybe underachieved a little bit when I think, uh, my, but I've had to fast forward it now to, to later on. I maybe think I'm overachieving maybe the way I'm playing. Uh, but it was a stuff. I still think I'm playing at a good level, whereas I would never have believed that possible if I'd have said to myself back in 2001, fast forward 22 years and you can still be playing like this. I probably will take the chance to go into them here. He's got a lot of fun with this player, I'll tell you. Aye. When you, when you were at that point in your career, I mean, you obviously played Ronnie in that world final in 2001, and, and you, as you say, you were kind of at, at the, the top of the, the sport as you are now, but what, what did it feel like when you were in those big match situations back then compared to how, how it feels now? Uh, not, not, not too much different, because I think I always had a little bit of trepidation, a little bit of fear when I was walking into these matches. I was never one of those players that, that I was so confident when I went in that I, I was thinking I was going to win. Uh, so, no, I, I don't think I've ever changed my outlook that much. But, uh, but I just think, I just think, w w when you look at this, God, you, you, you've got your whole career in front of you, and now you're different. You, you're looking at first thoughts, looking at these pictures, is, oh, who, who does that look like? Is it Pierce Oliver or Claudia? No, I mean it's just, uh, that's just, cause, and now you're a father yourself. You've got three kids, grown up making their own way in their life. Uh, well, that's good, eh? Yeah, I suppose how different is it at that point of your career when, you know, as you say, you've, you've become a, a, a father now, it's a different perspective, isn't it? At that point, it's just it's purely, uh, maybe snooker is the, the kind of complete most important thing in the world, isn't it? Ah, aye, snooker was, but it's now it's not now, but you, you still enjoy when you come to tournaments and you see the boys and, and you love playing the matches, but I think back then, snooker was, was all you were thinking about. You were trying to make a name for yourself. You were trying to win big events, whereas now you're just enjoying being here, being about it, playing. Uh, aye, but it seems such a long time ago. Aye, good, good to look at. And, and I mentioned the fact that you played Ronnie in that 2001 World Final. Clearly, he, he's been the defining rivalry of your career. You've played so many times. What, what has it been like with, you know, playing against him compared to any other match on the tour? Do you, is there a different feeling when you guys play each other? Yeah, yeah, a different, a different, a different buzz for the likes of myself. I, I would never really say there's been any like animosity or hatred for me, or, or, or that's maybe the wrong word, hatred. But there's always been like a little bit like, yeah, I need to need to try and beat this guy because he has, he, he has he has went on to obviously cement his place. I think in 99.9% .9 of people's eyes is the greatest. But I, I even say that. When I first clapped eyes on him, when he was about 16, 17, I thought this guy was just incredible. Ah, incredible. There was just something about him. Uh, and obviously, I've proved right. As I said, uh, I always say that there was a special 
ring round right about him with the ready break man said that and it's not really changed I think maybe even now when you're playing him more it, it, he's bigger in the sport in a way because he, he's more, more and more people recognise him more than more than anyone else and, and he's got such a huge fan base around the world and things but as I've always said I think I would always always when I got old and I know I'm grey just now but you, you think if maybe people look at rivalries that maybe I'd be one of his main rivalries throughout the whole throw part of his career which is which is I suppose a, a good thing and uh, you know as you, you say you've mentioned that you know in previous interviews that the end of your career could be in sight as you say may, maybe more world titles and, and, and things to come but how you know how hungry does that make you to try and have some, some big moments ahead going forward now yeah I'm, I'm, I'm still hungry I really am because I think I'm playing good I'm just I'm just not getting over the line lately which which you need to do in this sport. You, when the big, big moments come on, you need to take it, you need to grasp it, you need to burst through that winning line. And I've not really managed to do that lately, but it's not for the want of trying and it's not for, I, I really think I'm playing good stuff. Uh, I, people laugh, but I really don't think I was, I, I was as good a player 20 years ago as I am now. So it's tough. It's tough, but uh, I'm still enjoying, still enjoying the fight. Well, yeah, I think Sean Murphy mentioned last season. I think he went 20 months without winning a ranking title, and he said one of the most important things in, in the sport of snooker sometimes is patience. Just how, how true is that? You just got to kind of keep going and, and be, be ready for that moment to come. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. You have now. Last tour was a couple of years ago when, and that was in the COVID times really when, when I played Ronnie. I know I've won maybe a couple of the smaller events, the Championship League and things, but I would dearly love to get a big arena again and taste that one and feeling in, in front of the front of the fans again. That's that's my I suppose that is my goal just now, really why I'm maybe putting a couple of hours in each day and playing some of the other boys and uh, and when I get to these events uh, I'd love to love to lift the trophy again.